coach Jose Rivero. Uh, show of hands, who'd like to go first to interview the coach? So well, I was thinking if the coach can just start with a okay. summary of the next coach. Good evening. Um, I think we, we start the right way. Uh, dominating uh, clearly uh, the game from the start. Uh, a little bit of uh, lack of uh, lack of uh, depth in our first attempts, but little by little we start to 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 receive more times uh, even inside inside their box. No problems in transitions, no problems in direct balls, but in a very unlucky situation, we we concede one goal. Uh, after that, a little bit uh, in a hurry, uh, looking for for equalize uh, a little bit in a rush. Uh, but I think in the second half again we start well, we we equalize, we control the game. Maybe the last 15 minutes we were a little bit disorganized. We lost a little bit the structure, but it's normal as well. Trying to look for for one goal uh, in different manners, uh, but in the end um, we couldn't uh, we couldn't make it. I think we did it a couple of times, but were were, were disallowed by the official. So in the end, 1-1, one, one. Uh, but I think it was a really good performance of uh, Pirates players tonight. Coach, would you agree that uh, you know, with the remaining games, perhaps mathematically speaking, the title push and also cap champions league spot, not the ideal time to perhaps blow hot and cold, you need that consistency that we've seen in the early parts of the season from, from the Orlando Pirates side. What, what is the question? If we are pushing for the title? Yeah, I'm asking, it's, you know, you, would you agree that it's not the best time to blow hot and cold? You, would, you, know, you are looking for a level of consistency in the, in the final run of games. So we're going game by game. We know which ones are our objectives and, and it's clear that being First in this in this league uh, for multiple reasons, not only one reason for multiple reasons. It's uh, it's a huge uh, challenge for everyone for multiple reasons, um, and the running for the second position this season is going to be tough. There's uh, different different candidates in a very good form. Uh, with the ambition to, to be there. So it's gonna be, I think, a entertaining fight for that position that probably is gonna be resolved in the last game, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do everything in order to at least finish in the second position. It's our, our intention. We want to go to Africa next season, but Arrows, next one, three points, uh, fight for it. Uh, it's gonna be a tough game, uh, but I think the guys are, as you can imagine, they are not happy in the locker room because many things happen today on the field. One more time, one more time. Um, but um, but they know they they play the football that we are looking for today, and with performances like this, uh, we will get there. <coughs> Playing to a draw um, with your players and look at the body language coming out. How much of that, without even getting to the officials, how how much does it damage the mood in the in the squad that even having scored the goal, goals get disallowed? Not only in this match, uh, some decisions don't go up. Now we have to our obligation, like I said already one week ago. The the referees are not camping with us. They are not training with us during the week. Yes. We have uh, our energy must be. In, for them play football, for me to help them to play good football. And then luckily we have the journalist to analyze, to find conclusions, to, 
to maybe put some light and you know you have your job we have our job our job is entertain the people is play good football is try to get three points in each and every game and luckily we have you to to talk about the other things around the games and i'm sure that that uh, you are on it every week Coach, if maybe you are ahead of me, but can you uh, give us uh, reasons because you say there are not good reasons that there is good reasons? I know that reasons belong to my, obviously, personal analysis and me with the coaching staff. There's many factors. There's never only one factor. That's what I try to say. Coach, did you have any clarity on CBC's sending off? Mm -hmm. We didn't really, obviously, we can't hear, so we just see him walking off the pitch. Yeah, I know what happened, but it belongs to a different space. I cannot tell you uh, the terms of the conversation between the, the first official and my player, but again, it's a, it's a situation of, uh, you know, clear disadvantage when you have a conversation with the referee because you don't decide the terms, and it's exactly what happened in that conversation. So. Like I said, my players must be focusing, playing football. No, we don't. We don't. I know that sometimes it's difficult, even for myself. Um, but you, there's nothing for us there with the referees. There's nothing that we will. We will. Uh, I don't know how to say exactly to not. It's not in your control. Obviously, it's not. And. You know, in the last eight, eight games, this is the game number eight that we are really, really, really unlucky uh, with something. It's not one or two, eh? this is the number eight. So, but yeah, like I said, more than ever, we have to be focused, not lose the concentration, because you see, one moment that we lost the concentration, we are losing one player now for, I don't know, at least two games. So, there's no reward for us in that in that space, let's say. <coughs> Question for the coach, gentlemen? Okay, then we have to release the coach. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good luck, guys, with the research.